getting off the bus. Just getting off the bus out here in the D. Uh, over here on Jefferson. And it's beautiful. As you can see it from around me. As you see in the far back over there. That's that's going onto the bridge over to Bilal. Yeah. Out here doing their thing, you see what I'm saying? It's beautiful out here. In the snow, in the Detroit City. Yeah, so, um, just decided to get off the bus and, uh, walk with my cooler. As we can see, in the snow. Gotta make it happen. But, um... Just wanted to share a little something that I said a little earlier. I'm about to go up here and visit my uncle. I'm going to surprise him. I'm about to come over here and give him a shave. Uh, he was missing when I first got back in Detroit. When I say missing, couldn't find him nowhere. Ended up finding out months later, more than over half a year later, that he had a stroke. And he ended up in a, uh, in a rehab center or, you know, a rehab home something like that i wouldn't like to say center but you know rehabilitation center so but otherwise about to go surprise him walking his way and also just wanted to put a, a little more emphasis on what i was sharing earlier about the two brothers but it's not just them two uh well uh zion lex and also young pharaoh two phenomenal brothers when it comes to knowledge and there's more than them out there. There's plenty of our people out here that has the knowledge. You know, I understand when it comes to our brothers out here doing debates because some people feed off that. And I don't mean the ones that's doing the debating. But then again, some that do because I used to too. When I was young coming into knowledge myself, I'm not trying to say anything about those two when it comes to that. But what I'm saying is that when I came into the knowledge, or should I say, went through my spiritual awakening, which is a difference. I mean, when you're young, you get that zeal. When you get that zeal, it's like nobody can stop you. You want to get out here and tell the world the truth, because that's what it's about. You've come into a point of truth in your life when it comes to a spiritual, uh, should I say, awakening, or just a spiritual spark. That happens. A lot of people, Christians mostly, think they're called to preach, not realizing that's their awakening. Now it's time to learn. They think they're called to preach and don't know nothing besides what's been taught to them, taught to them by the system, which is the beast. So if you don't reprogram yourself, you know, or try to flush out or either put in and flush out new information compared to what you have been taught or what you think you know. And I was just listening to a sister not too long ago on, on YouTube. I don't know her name, but, but she says that uh, she's been a Christian all her life. And it was been, it's been only two years since she's come out of that doctrination. And I'm proud of her because people don't realize Christianity in today's form, however you want to put it, say it or whatever, is idolatry. Even though it's a religion all over the world, this is how Satan has deceived the whole world. And people just don't realize it. They just don't get it, you know. But I'm just sharing information because, you know, I love my people. I love life. And I love the fact that the universe has allowed and chosen me and many of my other knowledgeable, phenomenal, oh man, I almost said something that wouldn't sound right, I almost said know it all, but nobody knows it all, but what they, they know what they know. And this is how we teach, which I say each one teach one. And this is what time it is. You know, use your brain, as a brother over in Africa always say. 
Man, me and him was going at it for a while ourselves on Facebook. But, uh, you know, it's just time. It is time. And this, I guess that's my cliche. Time is now. I've been saying that for some years. Time is now. You just got to realize what time it is. A lot of people are just stuck. And this is the reason why I can understand when it comes to the writings of the information that's put in the, what people call the Bible, which are books. I like to say two separate books. The Torah and Tanakh, which is of the Hebrewic, Hebrewic uh, information. And the second half, which is the New Testament, which is of the Greek, what they've done and going around the world plagiarizing, taking information from here and there. If y'all know their history, they take information just like they took our inventions. How you doing over there? You enjoying the snow? <laughs> I hear you, bro. Have a good evening. All right. Yeah, so uh, as I was saying, they take information from all over the world and stick it where they may and brainwash you into believing it. That's me. All right, all right. So, if you don't have enough courage, patience, to check out information for yourself after being taught or hearing or listening or arguing. That's how I used to learn many different ways. But if you argue and don't have an open ear to hear while you're debating, you can't learn. You have to learn. Debate is good when you're trying to learn something from the next person because we don't know it all. We don't know it all. You got to remember that. So, I'm glad I know what I know. And I'm glad I'm still learning. But, I love y'all. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Love you! Yes, I do. You know? So, I'm going to get back with you. Uh, I'm gonna sneak up on my uncle heading up to his spot. So, probably let the world see my uncle that was missing. Some of the family kind of out is gone, or should I say passed on or ascended. But I didn't. And he's the brother, the twin brother of my mother, biologically. Just so you know, I have two mothers and two fathers. Yes, I do. I love them all. So, with that being said, I love you. Talk to you soon. Gather the knowledge. How you doing, bro? All right. Gather the knowledge. Research the information. And allow your spirit to retain what's needed for you. I love you. Peace and love. Talk to you soon. Wait a minute. Now, am I frozen? Yes, I am. Uh-oh. This baby don't want to stop.